we go. Thank you. Round of applause. Round of applause. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say hi. Welcome to this very magical Friday the 13th show of Adam's Family the Musical. I just want to give you a heads up. There is a big scary man who is not, he's not comfortable with flashing cameras any sort of cell phone ring, or any doodad or gadget that makes a sort of distraction. So please, for the sake of our family and your own, do not use them for the remainder of the show. Please, thank you, have a good time. Bye!
king. We summon our beloved ancestors. Why do we do this? Because living or dead, family is still family. Yes. And how do we do this? By dancing on their graves. Yes. Dance, my brother Fester. Time to wake the dead. Oh, let's 
not to talk about anything else but love. Can we talk about lofty goals made in souls, altering minds and faltering roles? Let's not talk about anything else. Fight like a man! Feel the kiss of my Spanish steel! Ha! 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 Foil again! Ooh! Darn your lightning reflexes! Gomez, look! Ugh! Flowers? Who would send something so tasteless? The most precious gift there is, more goody-licious than gold, is that thing we call friendship, whether new or very old. Goody-licious? Who talks like this? The Beinekees, Wednesday's friend Lucas and his parents. They're coming for dinner tonight. Lucas? Yes. <laughs> but Lucas is a boy's name. Yes. Wednesday has a friend who is a boy? Nothing, darling. Puppy love. Here, put these in water. Mom, Dad, I shot dinner. Oh, Wednesday, it's lovely. Wherever did you find it? Petting zoo. Thank you, dear. Come, Lurch, we'll whip up something really special for dinner. And this time, we'll actually cook it. <laughs> oh, Gomez, guests for dinner. Fresh meat. Daddy, I have something very important to tell you. What? Can you keep a secret? Of course. Look. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I'd say that looks like an engagement ring. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Oh, Daddy, Lucas wants to marry me! What? Lucas Beinecke loves me and he wants to marry me! Uh, do you want to marry him? Yes, I think so. You think so? Well... I've never even met his parents, and he's never met mine, and I just need to be sure. That he's the one. That the families can get along. I mean, he has to know what he's getting into. What are you saying? I'm saying we're who we are, and they're from Ohio. Ohio? A swing state. That's what I mean. You're right. This is important. Let's go tell your mother. No! No, but... We have to tell your mother. Daddy, please, she'll ask a lot of embarrassing questions and wreck the whole thing. You don't want me to tell your mother that you're getting married. After dinner, and we're all friends, then we'll tell her. But I've never kept anything from your mother. Daddy, please. But. If you love me. But. Do you love me, Daddy? There are two things. I would never do. Say no to my wife. Say no to my daughter. So what exactly should I do? Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Daddy, it's just one tiny little secret. Please, please. All right. All right. I won't tell your mother. Thank you, Daddy. Our little secret, right? Yes, yes. Our little secret. Wednesday's growing up, but I'm not ready. Wednesday's growing up as time slips by. When did she become someone else's chum? Someone else to make her father wonder why or why? Wednesday's growing up. She'll be Thursday before you know it. A puzzling thing. A secret in the house. A boy, a girl, a ring. Something's wrong with Wednesday. Well, what do you mean? She's in the kitchen, smiling like this. Ha! <laughs> uh, uh. Maybe it is this boy. 
this boy. <laughs> Don't be silly. Ha, I say. A double ha. Ha. Ha! <laughs> you yourself said, puppy love. Now come, darling. I feel an urge to take you in my arms. Let's go upstairs. Gomez. On the other hand, she is a healthy young woman, just like you were. Are. Like you are. She could even fall in love and get married, like you did. Don't be ridiculous, Gomez. I'm much too young to have a married daughter. <laughs> yes, of course. I didn't think of that. And besides, she'll have lots of boys. How do you know? Because she's my daughter. Well, yes, but what if, and I have no reason to say this, what if she did meet someone who stole her heart? Don't be silly, Gomez. When that happens, I'll be the first to know. Wednesday tells me everything, just like you do. There are three things I would never do. Lie to my wife, lie to my daughter, or tell the truth to either one. You do tell me everything, don't you? Of course. Oh my, you're perspiring. What? I hope you're not coming down with a case of liar's shingles. Oh, no, no. I think Wednesday and I should have a little chat. Like a bull in the ring or the moderate right wing pine trout. Like a fly in my tea or the New York DMV pipe crap. With my wife to my left and my daughter to my right, any thought of my escaping must be scrapped. I can choose to sing the blues, but no matter what I do, I can trap, trap, trap. Like a boat in a lot or a cuckoo in a clock, I can trap. Like a corpse in the ground or like Peter in the round, I can trap. I could cry, I could lie, I could sit way up and die, but I feel the dice are broken by the crap. Should I beg, should I rage, or stay safely in my cage? How old crap, crap, crap. How can I keep a secret from the woman I adore? The bitter breeze that keeps me here and coming back. She the empire, she harbors each desire. I never tell her lies, but when my daughter cries, how can I be expected then to turn the other cheek? Should I not be her hero instead of still like me? I'll take thee around the screw, tell me what I must do. Should I cry? Should I grow? Would I rather pass a snow? Crap. Wake up wild, crazy child, little me and reconciled, I'm crap. If I'm wrong, I'll be strong, and we'll try to get along. Or I'll fail, fail, so my coffin to the nail. If I nap, if I snap, maybe dinner would be scrapped. And then I wouldn't be trapped. Trapped. Oh, 
with strangers But she doesn't know what they destroy I can feel the glare and touch the dangers When she learns that the boy Has got me pulled in a new direction ah! I think I like that was good, that was good. I think I like that
maybe just a little dinner. Thank you, Daddy. Well, it seems I've been outvoted. Fine dinner it is. Drinks, dinner, and then the game. Please, not the game. But it's a family tradition. It's my dinner. But it's my house, darling. Dinner and then the game. One out of two, Paloma. Don't push it. Then can we at least all act normal? Define normal. Normal is an illusion, darling. What's normal for the spider is a calamity for the fly. Mother, please. Oh, but 
who are extremely normal home. Gomez Florencia Adams, at your service. And now, allow me to present my wife, Lidwana, the mother of my children, Alamor Demivida. She'll rip his throat out. 
Do me, children. <laughs> Excuse me, but do you have a little girls' room? Oh, we used to, but we let them all go.
I don't think you believe, eh? Now sit down. Let me ask you a question. <laughs> Perhaps another time. Okie dokie. So, uh, how about <laughs> these crazy kids, eh? What about them? They seem very fond of each other, no? I guess. But it's not like they're getting married. <laughs> married? Of course not. They are so young. Of course, they do marry young these days, do they not? <laughs> I don't know what they do. Then speak of you, the Bainiki Saga. Your hopes, your lives, your dreams. Your son? Lucas? He's a bit soft like his mom. When he gets out of college, I'll tough him up. Show him the business. Thank you, my man. May I say something? You and I, I feel we understand each other. Do you feel this? No. Oh. <clears throat> So, Adams. Yes? 10,000 square feet, right in the middle of a public park. How'd you swing the place? Oh, uh, these two acres have been in my family ever since Queen Isabella of Spain deeded them to my great ancestor, Alfonso the Enormous. Poor services rendered. Now, come, Heineke, I'll show you the most. Did you bring a bathing suit? Oh, never mind. Grab your chair. Let's be crazy. <laughs> Pick that up, will you? <laughs> and this is Cousin Helga from Baden Baden. And who's that looking over her shoulder? Oh, that's her other head. She has two heads. Well, you know what they say. <laughs> and who's the man in the dress? Oh, that's Aunt Herman, Wednesday's uncle twice removed. I don't understand. Well, they removed it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> and here's Gomez and me on our wedding night. What's that? Our wedding vows. <gasps> We promise to tango at least three times a week. For passion. We promise to tell each other everything. For truth. Everything? Of course. And you're still married? <coughs> More than ever. Boy, it sure doesn't work that way in our house. How does it work? Well, what's good for the gander is a nice quiet goose. If I told now my secrets, all heck would break loose. Alice, I'm shocked. What kind of marriage is it where you keep secrets? A long one. Secrets are the enemies of passion. Speaking truth will get you through the day. Truth is not a thing that one should ration. But I think you think of it that way. Told you a lie, you'd whisper goodbye and leave him 
Gomez lies, there's no chance he would forgive.
Who could conceive it? What if by and one tiny lie started civil war? What if a line's been crossed? Vows of moment but lost. How is this possible? Could this be possible?
they will drink and then she'll be herself again. Lucas will leave her be so she can torture me just like she always did. Till then, I'm just a strange, sad, Another magnificent feast, all thanks to my fabulous lady wife, from whom I keep nothing. This dinner puts me in the mind of my great ancestor, Hector Fernando Iskandona Chimichanga. A man hated by the church, but clever with a quip. In fact, while being burned alive, he said to the priest, keep it pink in the middle and a little crispy on the outside. You get me. Thank you, dear. And now it's time to play the game. Not the game. It's really late. But it's family tradition. Pugsley, could you just go away and die? Well, you should well. Kata, maybe the game is a bad idea. No, it's a good idea. And if it isn't, then somebody will be sleeping on the couch for a very long time. The game is a very good idea. The best of all ideas. What kind of game? We call it Abogacion de Revelaire. Oh, Spanish! What does it mean? Full disclosure. Everybody takes a sip from the sacred family chalice. And confesses a secret they've never told anyone. Loosely based on the Inquisition. And you have to absolutely tell the truth. Or what? Or, there are consequences. I don't think I'd be very good at that game. Sure you would. Oh no. No, no, no. And now, my husband will break the ice. He has something he wishes to disclose. Oh, no, no, no. The host goes last. Lurge the sacred chalice, please. This is the sacred chalice from Adam's family's past. Firm in my digitalis, held fast. Oh, die cat. Here in the sweet libation, salvation resides. Feel the sweet sensation, revelation provides. Full disclosure, it's a game that we play. Let your darkest secrets give you away. Face your demons and then happily say, I'm playing full disclosure with all these crazy happy people. Full disclosure is a hell of a thing. One of the favorite of the lending don't sing. It doesn't matter if we're at or left wing. He loves his full disclosure. Well, my disclosure will be in the form of a fairy tale. Once, there was a man who had a beautiful wife and two beautiful children. A humble man, I say, and yet within his breast beat the heart of a steadfast and loyal husband who loved his wife and treasured the very ground she walked on. Thank you. And one day, a fox appeared and gave the man a box of rare wood and Spanish leather. What's in the box? asked the kindly man. Nothing important, said the fox. Just a little secret, but you must never open it. 
And so the man took the box home to his beautiful wife, and she said, Let's open it anyways. And so the man said, Don't push it, honey, we got a good thing going here. And so they never did open it, and everybody lived happily ever after. <laughs> Full disclosure. Well, we'll just have to come back to you, won't we? Wednesday's turn. Pat. Ooh. Yes, let's hear from Vester. Well, the chalice. <laughs> What kind of fat, bald person with no specific sexuality know a thing about love? Right to him in love. Fester love. Oh, Fester, who is it? <laughs> the moon. The moon? He's in love with the moon. Yeah, that's normal. <laughs> that's the most beautiful thing I have ever heard. <laughs> oh, I haven't told her yet. Aww. Full disclosure. Full disclosure. Embrace it and swoon. Embrace and swoon. Fall from grace and fall in love with the moon. He loves and moon. Close your sermon with a signature tune and call it full disclosure. All right, Wednesday's turn. No! Me! Me! Age before beauty. Waits for her big mouth to come back home. 
at five o'clock or six o'clock till it's nine o'clock and there's no one more to ease the pain and she can't explain as the woman waits in the dark Let's all go to the lobby 
Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Wait, wait. We have to talk this over for a minute. Talk what over? We can't just run away and get married. You said it was important that everyone got along. And you said it didn't matter! Yeah, but they want to kill each other. Do you want that hanging over our heads? Boy, you sound just like your father. The root doesn't fall far from the tree, does it? What? <laughs> Forget it. The apple. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree. You're annoying. You know what I think? I don't think you really wanted to get married. You just said that to stick it to your mother. Don't psychoanalyze me, Lucas. It's a deep, dark hole, and you don't want to go there. What do we do for money? Stop being so scared of everything! Right, like you're not scared. I eat scared for breakfast, honey. Yeah! Let's go back into the house and make some rational decisions. Oh. I don't want rational decisions. I want dangerous, Impulsive, crazy decisions! Yeah! Are you coming or not? Look, I, I can't, I just can't run away like this. It's too crazy. I, I'm sorry. Not as sorry as you're gonna be when you wake up in your 46 working for your father! Oh! <laughs> I, I can be impulsive. I just need to think about it first. Delicious anarchy. It's a rhino. I mean, what happens now? Can this all be repaired, or do you all leave it an hour feeling vaguely depressed? Let's find out, shall we? Father, I told that Beinecke woman we kept nothing from each other. My sweet, my only thing. Wednesday wasn't sure about the boy. I didn't want you to worry. Oh, so you didn't dare tell me because I'm such a terrible mother. You were a wonderful mother. And look at the thanks I get. I gave up my dreams for the sake of this family. I wanted to travel. I wanted to see Paris. I never saw the sewers of Paris. And now it'll never happen. So this is how it ends, alone and forgotten, in a tiny room, living off of cat food and broken dreams. That's what happens to mothers. Look at yours. She came for the weekend. The weeks turned into months. It's 12 years later, and she's still up there, deceived and deluded, living in the attic. A grandma. Hm. Well, I'm not going to end up like your mother. My mother? I thought she was your mother. <laughs> no, seriously. You lied to me, and I can't live with that. Here, Kata, I feel an urge to take you in my arms. No, Gomez. But Kata... Out! My 
daughter's getting married, I can't believe it's true. She doesn't ask her mother before she says I do. And how about my husband and constant naive? This evening's getting serious, these Ohioans won't leave. But I can't let these latest troubles rob me of my bliss. For when I'm scared of true disaster, I
wake up to. That didn't even rhyme. You got a problem with that? I did not raise my son to be kidnapped by a bunch of creeped out left wing Spanish weirdos. You didn't raise him, Mal. I did. You were at the office, remember? I was at the office for you, for him. I had plans for the boy. Oh, Mal, he's in love. Let him follow his heart. Follow his heart? That's crazy. What's wrong with crazy? Crazy is underrated. Let me get this straight. Your son, your only son, wants to run off and marry somebody who's named after a day of the week and carries a crossbow around Central Park. And you're okay with this? If it makes him happy, then yes. Well, you better come to your senses real quick, or I'm going to have to start taking steps. Good idea. Why don't you start by taking steps outside? What? If you're going to act like a tool, then go sleep in the shed. past. I think I'll get a little moon. Thank you. 
be a wallet.
Oh. <gasps> oh my god! 
Lucas. Lucas. Gotcha!
Thanks, Baldy. Now close your eyes and go to sleep, or the monster will come out and eat you up. Pugsley. Pugsley. Sleep well, my little vermin. Your mommy's life has fallen apart, and she needs to go away for a while. And years from now, when your marriage collapses, and you wonder who put us on this road to craziness, you can thank your father. To you. You want to see the world? Done! You want sewers? I'll show you sewers fit for a queen! Where's that hotel guy? Ah, Hotel Mayor, Rue du Toilet, condemned six times by the Board of Health. Not enough! Ah! Hotel Nosferatu, rating minus three stars, no windows, no towels, no staff. Bingo! The worst hotel in Paris. Get them on the line, my friend. Hurry! This is the final round. Did I ever once believe this day would come? Did I ever once expect the worst? Did I ever dream that I could feel this way? Dios mio, no, this is the first. I'm a Latin man and Latin men are smart. Everything we do is more sincere. Leading with a sword as much as with a heart. Never once did I expect to hear. Not today, she's got it in my face. Not today, not a one second base. Not today, the words I hear her say. Not today, not today, not today. Remember well the day she poisoned me. No one else had cared enough to try. How did she uncover all the joys in me? All the way she said that I would die. Every year that passes, I desire for more. Anyone who knows us would agree. She's my ever fever blue and canker sore. She's my only hepatitis B. Not today, I'm dancing on my own. Not today, a dog without a bone. Not today, a rotten rug all day. Not today, not today, not today. Is that my call to Paris? Of course, it's about time. Hello, Hotel Nostratu? Oh, thank goodness. The future of my marriage is at stake. And you can farm this is the worst hotel in Paris. Because I need to get your foolish guarantee. What would I pay if you would say you took my fourteen years and a from and abandoned and condemned to the street? I must be clear, don't want to circulate this number. You must have roaches in the back at any cost. It says right here in my new guide I bought from Crowbirds that even in July the pipes are thick with frost. Go in! Go in, Morticia's leaving! What? She's at the gate with her suitcase! Is this the moment where I turn a little gray? Is this the moment where my marriage vows to pay? Is this the moment where my sister runs away? No! Not today! Not today! Not today!
So it's true. I can't live with a man who keeps secrets. There's another secret I haven't told you yet. What? That you are the most exquisite, the most magnificent, the most desirable of all women. That's no secret. No. But even you had a secret, once. Never. And if you're wrong? I never am. But if you are, what will you give me? Name it. A dance. Go on. Many years ago, when you still loved me, and we wanted to get married, we went to your father and told him, and he said, Wonderful! Let's go tell your mother. And what did you say? How could I possibly remember what I said? You said, No. She'll ask a lot of embarrassing questions and wreck the whole thing. That's different. My mother was condescending, judgmental, withholding, and loved nothing more than stirring up trouble. Uh-huh. Oh no. I've turned into my mother. And Wednesday has become you! Isn't it wonderful? You did that like a lawyer. Oh no, no. Just a father and a husband. Not so easy. In fact, very difficult. Let's live before we die. Let's laugh before we cry. Let's hold each other tight and dance. If I have caused you pain, it's easy to explain. Come fill me with delight and dance. My love, my wife, forever you will be. But Wednesday's life, that too is part of me. The two girls I adore and swore to suffer for, let's end this talk of war and dance. Mother told me to be careful of clever men with silver tongues. What I lack in depth, I make up for in shallowness. You really think you can sway me with a joke? It's the last thing I tried before the chloroform. Tomorrow I may be in rainy in Paris. Please stay right where you are and dance. I'm not a cassinet who clicks with no regrets. You're more than that by far, so dance. Can never be what was to be begin to do what dancing does. My darling, I was bad, bad husband and bad dad. Instead of being sad, oh, we're lost. We're drifting out to sea, but side by side, we're gloomy as can be. As for me as can be. Mortish, I was wrong. I knew it all along. Forgive me with a song. And dance. Give me a moment. Creature of constant surprises. You have legs!
changed our lives. How can we ever thank you? Oh, tell your friends. Word of mouth is so important. Young lady, step forward and speak the words that every mother longs to hear. I'm sorry. Do you really want to marry this boy? I do. Why? He's willing to die for me. Mother, can I ask you something? Yes. Go on. Ask him. Can we have your blessing? Of course. And may you have many children, and may they give you as much grief as you've given us. Attention, everybody! I have a full disclosure. I am taking my beautiful wife to Paris! Oh, come as the sewers? Special package. One day, seven nights. Je t'aime, mon cher, je t'aime toujours. Oh, the French. <laughs> Okay, fun seekers. My acrimonium was missing, so I did a little snooping around. <coughs> Tell them what happened to you, old bed bug. You're also smart, you figure it out. All right, let's see. You were worried you'd lose your sister. So you stole my acrimony. To make Wednesday and Lucas fall out of love. But I never got to drink it because... I passed it to my mother. And I drank it and became who I really am. Which made me fall in love with my family all over again. And I reached deep into my reservoir of womanly compassion and bathed your father in forgiveness. Welcome to our family! We're not losing a daughter. We're gaining three Heineke's. My son, for purely selfish motives, who turned a simple dinner into a night from hell. We couldn't be more proud. Hudsley, you're an artist. You rearranged life itself and it all came out even. You're the best brother in the world. So you're still going to torture me? Of course. Until you get a girl of your own. My son, you embrace the darkness of your despair. And suddenly, the world makes sense. You are a true animal.
love triumphs at last.